Another deadly crash over the weekend claimed the lives of a pregnant mother and her three children. It happened Saturday night on Highway 30 at the entrance to Westlake Mobile Home Park, about a half mile west of Fremont. Megan Hahn is here now with Community Reaction. Megan? Saturday's deadly crash involved three vehicles. A driver of one of the vehicles was trying to turn into Westlake Mobile Home Park when he was rear-ended. People we spoke with at the Mobile Home community say they witness crashes here frequently. Flowers placed along U.S. Highway 30. Remember Maria Cristina Menhivar and her sons, 10-year-old Julian, 8-year-old Adrian, and 7-year-old Angel. Lives cut short in a deadly crash. Menivar was in her third trimester and expecting a baby girl. Her three children attended Schuyler Elementary. A GoFundMe page describes Menivar as a positive, loving, and hardworking mom. Investigators say the crash happened when a Ford Mustang was stopped on Highway 30, waiting to turn left. A Dodge Ram rear-ended the Mustang and wound up in the other lane. That's when the truck hit the Menivar vehicle. Ryan Hansen lives at Westlake Mobile Home Park and tried to help the victims. Me and my wife ran outside. Um, I, I just didn't even put on shoes. I just ran out. He says this part of Highway 30 near Westlake Mobile Home Park is dangerous. Well, yeah, it's it it's a busy highway because uh, it goes from four to uh, four lanes is two, and then there's no turning lane. There's no shoulder. These wrecks happen like pretty frequently, like two, three times a year, if not more. Other neighbors agree and say they've had many close calls trying to turn into the mobile home park. From right here, you can see the marks. All those, all those indented marks right there, those are cars coming off the road right here. They honk at me and yell at me because they're mad because they have to slow down or they, they can't pull around the outside of us when we come in here. Schuyler Community School says the community is grieving but working together during this difficult time. We have great community support. Um, we've gotten support from outside schools who have called um, expressing their condolences, but also offering help. Davis City and North Bend are two that, that always offer grief counselors or support for us. The driver of the pickup truck was identified as 33-year-old Herman Lopez Sines. He's being treated at Nebraska Medicine is in fair condition. Court records show Sines has been cited three times previously for driving without a license. Law enforcement do not believe alcohol was a factor in Saturday's crash. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. Now.